significantly better. Mike's Daily Podcast. F- F- episode 1034. Hello, it's Mike Matthews. 1000, 1034. 1000, 1000. Episode, episode 134. 1034. Wait, is it really? People don't realize the difficulty it, there is. It is. I'm trying to figure out these things. Mike's Daily Podcast. Today on the segment Wow Shuts Wow Jellyfish Mike's Daily Podcast Not the cool 90s band but the actual animal Which is cooler than the the 90s band I love jellyfish and all that they stand for or they kind of look like plastic bags if they wash up on the shore Did you see that? I changed which line I rhymed with and now I'm going off rhyme <laughs> Because it stings you. Mike's Daily Podcast. When you step on them. I really love marine life. And also, I don't know why I'm Mike's singing. P. Daily. The song. P. Podcast. Because that's usually your job. P. Yeah. P on your foot if you step on the stinger. And it goes, this pain that's goes what away. they say. If it's a box jellyfish, you're just screwed, though. I'm not thinking about peeing when I'm in pain. <laughs> with the on my sting. That's why you have a good friend with you. Oh. Didn't okay. you see that episode of Friends? Oh yes. That was a great episode. It was a weird episode. Which speaking of which, wasn't there something to do with sand in that episode? They were on a beach. Right. But there was a lot of sand in my bedroom today. And then I realized, oh, it was because I went to, not the beach, but um, some, something similar to it, that where there was water. Now I can't remember where that was. It's a sandy place right next to water, but it wasn't the beach. Right. It was the, I wonder if it was Lake Elizabeth, which is not too far away from us in Podcaster Valley Mont. There's not any sand there. That's true. in the... Uh, uh, Play places. <laughs> yeah. And you like jellyfish, huh? Yeah. You're familiar with all sorts of sea life. I am. They are my friends. Uh, oh, look, I just walked in. Speaking of friends. Hello, my Matthews. It's Shelly. She wanted to get Jeff supervisor. You guys, I want to hang out with you guys because you guys talk about cool things like sea life. Sea life. Were you eavesdropping on us? I was. I was just around the corner, and then I opened up the door, and it made a big sound. It's probably acceptable, because we're doing a podcast. You can chime in whenever you want, Shelly, and say something. Okay. And then she was never heard from again. She was sucked into the void. No, I wasn't. I'm right here. Oh. What do you think about Tim Cook and Apple, and how Tim Cook uh, is, is going up against the government? Cybersecurity is very important to me. All right. What do you think of this picture? <laughs> For the podcast picture today. It's got a sky and some trees and chemtrails. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Just looking at that picture has got all... the government in my mind. <laughs> Speaking of which, look who's here. Oh, my God. It's Floyd the floor man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. I've already created the back door that will go into the iPhone in order to create world domination of jellyfish. Thank you for doing that, John Deere. Whoa, looking out my back door. That was scary, that CCR moment you just did. (laughs) It's a scary band. I, uh... I don't really have anything interesting to say today, so you're just going to have to carry the weight of the show. Go ahead. All right. So, uh, I can't carry you. (laughs) I'm not that strong. I'm not heavy. I'm your brother. I am my brother. So on we go. Go. His welfare is my concern. Nobody needs he. Too bad we'll get there. 
so beautiful. Let's go outside a cafe anyway. We're ringing my still. We haven't done over. the segment yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we have a segment today. <laughs> what happened? Something. Okay. Uh, jellyfish. This is wow shits wow because. My mom, when I tell her something surprising, she goes, Wow, shit's wow. Wow, shit's wow. Hey, I feel like I should play a little something from the band Jellyfish right here. Baby's coming back, baby's coming back, so I'm on my best behavior. I can't take it anymore, I just woke up on the floor today. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm going out of my last chances, but she's on the way. Mm, yeah. That was great. Mm, we're jellyfish. Mm, swimming in the ocean I like, a commotion. I like your song Here's some interesting things about Jellyfish Worldwide there are over 200 species of jelly Yay uh, Jellyfish are brainless, boneless, and 95% liquid Hey, that's not nice <laughs> <laughs> And they have four stomachs Like a cow Wow, they're like Cowfish and a kangaroo. Kangaroos? They've got four stomachs? Yeah, the roos got four stomachs. I didn't know they had four stomachs. Yeah, they're like cows, except that they'll knock your brains out. They got punching uh, mitts on when they're uh, kangaroos. More humans are killed by cows every year than sharks. And I assume kangaroos the same. Sharks are wonderful little fishies in the water. More humans in this world are killed by falling coconuts and falling vending machines than sharks. I had a vending machine full of my head, and I got a bunch of free quarters in the process. I got a lovely bunch of coconuts. It's all standing in a row. Good show, good show. That was great. I'm doing sort of more of a... Is it Reese... Reese Davis? Reese, I forget. He, he kind of does that. And he's, but he's from New Zealand. So that's a different ah, sort of accent. New yeah. Zealand. They're a little bit quicker on the little, talk. On the sheep side. On the sheep side? Yeah, yeah. yeah you're talking to New Zealanders. New Zealanders and you'll be like, Hey, bloke. Yeah, it has life in the, the small island. And then they'll say, like, yeah, doing pretty good. Still filming, like, 50, 50 movies here a day. Meh. <laughs> and then they, they just continue on the conversation. Everyone's, like, half sheep there. <laughs> I, I, when you said movies, I thought of Lord of the Rings, because then they shoot that in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. And The Hobbit. And The Hobbit. And uh, m- one of my favorite bands, Crowded House, came from New Zealand. And they had this, the longest uh, longest water slide in the world was in New Zealand. New Zealand, I think. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like oh. the top of a mountain and it went all the way down to like the sea, I think. That's awesome. And as I watch from my new show that I love on Netflix. Oh, you remember when we were talking about The Layover by Anthony Bourdain's show? No. Apparently... That as soon as we talked about it on the podcast, Netflix took it off because it's no longer on Netflix. Damn Netflix! Damn. What was I saying? Damn. Oh, jellyfish. Yes, but oh, one other interesting thing about New Zealand. Apparently, they're uh, into building little shacks to get drunk in shanties. Yeah, like if you have a house. You build a little shack off to the side. That that's where you go and you get drunk. I have one of those in the backyard. You got what? Well, you got a shanty in the backyard. I wish that was false. It came with the house. It did. It came with the house. Do you have kangaroos in it? We don't have kangaroos. That's sad. Yeah. A group of jellyfish is called a flotsam. Smack. Oh, I knew that. I'd forgotten. Smack. Isn't that That's like, drugs. It's also an... Isn't it an automatopoeia? Isn't smack. it? Smack! Because it kind of sm- sounds like what... Yeah, it, it's automatopoeia. I love the word automatopoeia. Automatopoeia is not an automatopoeia. It's really disappointing. I know! You can't do anything that sounds like automatopoeia. 
Except when you get stung by a jellyfish, you got to automatopee on your foot. Yep. If I got stung by a jellyfish, I'd be like, automatopee! <laughs> <laughs> it's a expletive. Jellyfish have inhabited Earth longer than almost any other species. They date back over 650 million years. Good for them. Except for the fact that the Earth was created only 40,000 years ago. Only, yeah, about 35,000 to 40,000 years ago. Says Ted Cruz and his butter, butter cow. cow. A cow made out of butter. And an Ellen Page came up to Ted Cruz and said, Hey! Why you hate us? Why, why you gotta hate Ted Cruz? Despite their popular nickname, Jellies, they, they, they call them Jellies. Is that a shortened name of jellyfish? Yeah. Jellies have no gills and therefore are not actually fish. They're not fish at all. They've been lying to us. Ugh! Jellyfish are in... I just said, I just called them jellyfish. Jellies are invertebrates with stinging cells, also known as... Oh, this is a weird word because it's got no vowels in the beginning. Onomatopoeia? S- yeah. Snidarians. It's C N I D A R E N S. Snidarians. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew a Snidarian in college. Well, what? He lived in the dorm over from me. I think he was an exchange student. Oh. What was his name? Flum. Flum. Uh, Smack. <laughs> They're more closely related to sea anemones and corals than are um, to fit. They are to fish. Oh, jellyfish! Interesting. Yeah. Jellyfish have two layers of skin: an outer ectoderm and an endo- 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 endoderm. Those two words mean inner and outer skin. Jellies get their name from a substance called mesoglea, which has the appearance and feel of jelly. Mesoglea provides structural support in lieu of bones or cartilage. Have you ever touched a jellyfish? With my foot, with a shoe on my foot. Mm, mm-hmm. So Me not too. really. Not really. Have you? No. Because we're afraid. Oh, yeah. Next time if I go to Florida and I see one on the beach, I'll poke it. Me too. Pinky I'll... promise. All right. We're peaking promises. It's going to not happen. Your pinky's warm. Thanks. But it doesn't have any snitterians on them, your pinky. That's probably for the best. Because I'd be stung right now and I'd have to pee on my own pinky. No, that's uh, the snitterian is not what has the... Oh, okay. Jellies have little control over their own movement. Their bodies pulsate, but their movement is primarily controlled by ocean currents. Did you know that jellies love Katy Perry? <laughs> uh, that's not on this article. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the waves? Din, 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 din. That's a jellyfish life. They really relate to that. Really? Yeah. That song? Mm-hmm. Because, baby, you're a firework! Let your colors burst! Out of your breasts. <laughs> yeah, because Katy Perry likes to shoot things out of her breasts in her videos. That's true. She's done that more than once. Like the whipped cream... Uh, machine and the fireworks and the firework video. They do fly out of her boobs, right out of her bosom. Katy Perry, what's your deal? That's what we want to know. Uh, they have no brains. Katy Perry's no uh, jellyfish have no brains, but rather primitive nerve nets throughout their bodies that control their limited um, nerve nets. Nerve nets. Nerve nets. Nets. N- nerve nads. Nerve nets. <laughs> Nets. Nets. See, we were going to videotape this, and it's good that we didn't because I make a strange face when I say nets. <laughs> nets. It, like, contorts my face. That, uh, that's how they move around is with those nerve nets. They're limited motion. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like, yeah, because it's, it just, it's just kind of a twitching motion. What's a moon jelly? A moon jelly. It's moon a pretty je- little jelly. Moon jellies clone themselves through a process called strobilation in which a polyp will divide into 
multiple segments before tiny clones float away Mm -hmm. and develop into genetically identical adults. You know what that means? (sighs) What? Every single moon jelly is biologically a female. Whoa! Yes. It's the same thing with ants, actually. What? Yes. Wow, shots wow. Yes. A, uh... uh, A, uh... Queen ant Uh doesn't need doesn't need any drones to make an entire colony. Oh. Because a queen ant can lay a large amount of eggs huh. with no uh, fertilization. Oh. And they spawn genetic clones. Ah. That's weird. And then if they don't have the proper nutrients, then they don't, they won't develop into a queen ant. Oh. And they'll become worker ants. I see. So every single ant that you see working is a female ant. No way. Yeah. Oh my god. It may be only certain types of ants. I'm a I'm a sexist jerk because I I have stepped on a bunch of worker ants before, on accident. <laughs> so when you take a magnifying glass and you're burning up the ants, you're burning up little female ants, women and children. <sighs> This is horrible. Don't do that with your magnifying glass. Pretend you're Sherlock Holmes with your magnifying glass. And do I say, something's afoot. The game's afoot. What's a sea nettle? It's a big old jellyfish with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of arms. Ah, stinging cell, equipped with stinging cells called nematocysts. Uh, jellies... Oral arms can begin digesting food before it even reaches their mouths. So you see that picture there? It's a picture of a jellyfish. And it's the type of jellyfish that has the outside, that it's like a yellow. Ooh. And you see how the out arms are a little skinny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the ones that sting. And then the inside, there's like a, wo- a whooshy part. Yeah, the tool. The, the whooshy part that's coming down. And like the is, wedding stuff. Mm-hmm. Like wedding garters. It's true. And then um, that is your oral, is the jellyfish's oral arms, and they grab stuff oh. with it. Oh! And they put it in their stomach. But they're digesting it before it even reaches their mouth. Yeah. They don't really have a mouth. They have an opening into their stomach. <sighs> Weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have two more. Jellies typically feed on larval fishes, zooplankton, and eat. zooplankton. Zoom-pl- that is the uh, that is the animal version of plan- plankton. There's also protoplankton, which is the uh, the uh, uh, veggie version of plankton. Could we live on plankton? No. It also says here they eat other jellyfish. <gasps> And finally, jelly species are being affected by climate change. What? Jellies thrive in warmer waters, so as water temperatures rises, so do jelly populations causing an imbalance in ocean ecosystems. It's almost like everything screwed up because of climate change. Damn you, Ted Cruz and your butter cow! No! As jelly blooms grow, some adult fish populations become depleted as a result of more jellies consuming so many fish eggs and larvae. And then the sharks die! In the name of of love! love. One more in the name name of love! love. (sighs) Do you ever go to a U2 Christ? On Easter, they'll do, like, a church will do U2 songs, and that'll be, like, their service. It's a way to get people to go to Easter service. I have no idea what the f*** you're talking about. (laughs) It's a U2 Eucharist. I actually first heard about that when I was dating my ex-wife when she was going to Azusa, the school you went to that we talked about last show, and the Bible. I'm pretty sure, like, that doesn't happen anymore. Maybe it's a cold plague risk now. <laughs> right. Well, I think we learned a lot, didn't we, Floyd? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm confused. I'm Floyd the floor man. All right. He's sure Floyd of one the floor thing. Man. Sure of one thing. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's be Sherlock Holmes. I heard. Oh, okay. Holmes. What you? What are you up to, Holmes? Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm Robert Downey Jr. 
I'm Robert Downey Jr. and I talk really quickly. I talk really quick like this, especially when I'm doing Sherlock Holmes. He does. Yes. So did the first you, movie was good. The I, second movie was also good, but not as good. I have to see the second one. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, well, I told you, like, spoilers. Oh, spoilers, yeah. Spoilers, 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 ah. spoilers, ah. spoilers. They kill off the girl in, like, the first five minutes. That's ridiculous. In the first two minutes. The first scene. That's like a James Bond movie where they always kill off the girls. Yeah, but it's right at the beginning. Is it because they're worker ants? It's, uh, uh, yes. It, probably. I don't know what that meant. I don't know. No offense. Stop it, Hollywood! Yeah, Hollywood. See, because that... End of spoilers, end of spoilers, end of spoilers. Back to regular show. Bing! We now return you to your regular programming. <laughs> Which was static. That was a joke. No. So, that's basically the show. Uh, we live in a world that's round. And you li- listen to podcasts and you're awesome person listening to podcasts. We assume... D- did you like that show, last show, where I t- called it Blue Eyes and Bibles because I talked about the girl with blue eyes from the dog place that I go to, the pet place, and she's got beautiful blue eyes? Linger on your pale blue eyes. That was beautiful. What was, what was that? Velvet Underground. Oh, you went old school. You went Lou Reed time. Yep. Did you know Lou Reed and Jerry Reed did an album together? Who's Jerry Reed? Jerry Reed sang, um, I got one ticket to town, and there are no bottom line, and ain't gonna run away all the time. That sounds like uh, Nathaniel Radcliffe. She got the, the whole gold mine, I got the shaft. They said they cut it all down the middle, but she got the better half. Lou Reed also did an album with Metallica, and everyone tries to forget that it oh, existed. Oh, that was pretty bad. Yeah. He also did something with the Gorillas. That was horrible. Oh. Actually, no, wait. I kind of like the Lou Reed Metallica. I've heard, like, one off of it, and I was just like, it's all right. Because Metallica... I, I don't really like Metallica, and I don't really like Lou Reed solo stuff. I'm not a fan of Metallica. I, did you hear the Metallica Marianne Faithful song? No. That was bizarre. Oh, okay. But interesting. Kudos to them for trying to stretch their cells. Yes. It was, uh, that was a lie about Lou Reed and Jerry Reed, but that would have been interesting. Mm -hmm. They're both in heaven now. Lou Reed's not dead. No, he died. He might be in heaven, but he's not dead. Oh, he's not dead. No. Okay. I would have heard about this. Lou Reed died. (laughs) <laughs> we can look this up later um, That was one of the things At the Grammys They did a tribute to David Bowie But they didn't do a tribute To Natalie Cole They did a tribute to Glenn Fry. It's because Natalie Cole Is just a um, She a, had some hits Just a worker aunt. Because I miss you like crazy I miss you like crazy Every night and every day I don't know what I'm supposed to say And I miss you Go ahead, go I, on I've just discovered Lou Reed is dead And I'm kind of sad now I'm, I don't know how that slipped by the radar for me Don't you remember uh, his wife, I guess, was Lori Anderson And she wrote an article in Rolling Stone About how he was and his interesting life I don't subscribe to the Rolling Stone Oh Lou Reed John Cale's still alive, right? Wait, didn't he die? No, he's alive. Okay, good. Is he? He should be. I thought you told me he died. John Cale? No. J.J. Cale died. J.J. Cale, yeah. That was, um, he worked with uh, Eric Clapton on a lot of Mm -hmm. stuff. Cocaine. She don't lie, she She don't don't lie, lie, she don't lie. lie. Cocaine. (laughs) Well, I'm sorry you had to learn through the podcast that... That's all right, I'll live. He won't. He didn't. He's rocking the skies, though, with David Bowie. He's not in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Who died and went to heaven and made you the St. Peter? I'm just saying. <laughs> well. Now I have to check to make sure John Cale's still alive. 
<laughs> I'm gonna check all the the members. This show's gonna end on a real down note. I'm gonna only realize how many people have gonna, gone on. I'm gonna check all the members of uh, the Velvet Underground. And David Bowie sure. is in heaven. And Lou Reed and Jimi Hendrix, and they're all rocking the skies. John Cale is alive. Oh, okay. Um, what's his face? I ate some kale this Morris, morning. Morris, ha, ha, ha. I don't remember his first name. I, l- I did a really bad joke there for all you people that wanted to listen to a crap podcast. Sterling Morrison? Is he alive? Wait, which, is he from Velvet Underground? Yeah, yeah. What instrument? He, he's dead. Okay, he was dead. He was dead a long time ago. Um, what's her name? What's the drummer's name? Uh, oh. Look at you knowing all this stuff. Um, what's... Andy Warhol I can never remember dead. her name. Andy Warhol's dead. Andy uh, Warhol's Ed, dead. Edie's dead. The, the, the model that the cult did a song about. Maureen oh, Tucker. How did I forget Maureen Tucker? Oh, the wolves clap at your feet. Oh, I forgot. Edie. Marine Tucker's still rocking out. Woo! She's awesome. I love Marine Tucker. This is an up note show, then. We're ending on an up note. And hold on. Nico. Is Nico still alive? I think Nico's gone. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Wait, is she? Is he? Is it he or she? It's a she. Yeah, she died in 88. Oh, that's quite a while. That's sad. She was only 49. Dang. That's only two years for me. That's 7,000 years for you. Youngster. Oh, she was in Ibiza and she partied too hard and she had a heart attack. How do you look this stuff up on your little phone so quick? Wikipedia. That's not an iPhone, is it? No. See, I'm I'm gonna dump my iPhone because it moves so slow. Yeah, it's because you have an old phone. Don't say that that loud. The phone gets really self-conscious when you say that. <laughs> Your phone <laughs> is old. Now that was just mean and cruel hearted. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? This is the last show of the week you're on this week. That's true. Because this was a short week. I don't have anything to add. And your little Columbia fleece. Yeah, it's nice. You're, you're wearing the fleece. Usually I'm wearing fleece today. I've worn this fleece a lot. And I uh, uh, wear this fleece, a golden t- guitar on my back. I play for keeps. Cause I might not make it back I've been everywhere Still I'm standing tall I've seen a million faces And I rock the ball Cause I'm a cowboy On a steel horse I ride I'm wanted Dead or alive Yes I'm a cowboy I'm a cowboy I got the night on my side I'm Sam Bora to my John Bon Jovi. That was awesome. Did you date Cher? <laughs> Richie Sam Bora dated Cher. Can you believe that? <laughs> That's great. John Bon Jovi doesn't age. That's crazy. Do you know who I like more than John Bon Jovi and Richie Sam Bora? Uh, John Cale? Cher. Oh, yeah. Also John Cale. I do like John Cale. <laughs> do, now, but you're more of a fan of her later work. Uh, yes, her, I like her early stuff with Sonny for sure. Was Sonny and Cher. Sonny and Cher. Yeah, that was a great combo. And then she did, If I could turn back time. If I, I could, could find. Away. I couldn't think of the next line. Yeah, and. Um, gypsies, I'm so Every time they call those gypsies, traps and thieves. And every night all the men would come around. And then something happened. And lay the money down. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> ah. The beat goes on. Ooh. That was that their was little... chair. Yeah. That, that was with Sonny. That was their little protest song. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. And then she revolutionized music with autotune. Yes. She did. 
If you believe love after, after love, love after love after love. Do you know what part I like about that song is the part that's not auto tuned on the um what do you call it the Brit the refrain the bridge the split in the middle of the song yeah where she goes I know I'll get through this I know I'll t- t- survive because I don't need you anymore because I don't need you anymore my I don't life need you anymore well that was fun I don't need you anymore. That was well, very... I don't need you anymore. That's totally still auto tuned. Oh, that part is just a little bit. Then we had a very musical podcast today, <laughs> and nothing has changed. And the well, beat goes on. That's right. We'll we'll end it on that beat. Have a great weekend, Haley. Hey, Mike. What? What happens next show? <laughs> Oh, thank you for reminding me. And I didn't pick a podcast picture yet. <laughs> uh. And here's today's podcast picture. John Deere, the engineer, what picture should I use? Use one of your Alabama pictures. All right, I'm going to take a picture from my Alabama days. It's, I hope you enjoy. I'll caption it so you'll know what it is. And next show, we'll have Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. It always sounds like you're saying that Benita is a disgruntled fiddle, fiddle player. Benita, comma, the disgruntled fiddle player. Comma, I don't know why I have trouble saying words. With, like, what was that other word I had earlier? Onomatopoeia. <laughs> That's a tough one. I think, uh... That's what we'll have next show. I appreciate you putting the Oxford comma in there, too. It was an Oxford comma, huh? It was Benita, comma, the disgruntled fiddle player, Oxford, comma. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I feel as if you don't want to end this show. I feel as if you've got more to say and that we shouldn't end it. It's over half an hour at this point. It is, really? We need to take it out back and uh, let it go. Mercifully. Let it uh, take it away to that... Uh, beautiful farm in the sky. Well, I'm going to take a sip of coffee in honor of Lou Reed. And inject some heroin. <laughs> in honor of Lou Reed. No. Um, don't do heroin. It's bad. It messes up your body bad. But listen to the song Heroin. It's a good song. Don't yeah. 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 Uh, okay. That's all I got for you, my man. Thank you. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye.